What's up everybody, it's your boy Mad Buddha back again, this time with my guide for the bug hat build on Abathur. This guide is sponsored by Nihilism Gaming, check them out at nihilismgaming.com and if you want to follow along with their Abathur guide, the link is in the description below. A few things to know before we get into the build. You're going to be wanting taking the hat build only when you have someone who can really make effective use of Abathur's symbiote ability. If you don't have a tank or a melee assassin that really likes to get in their face like Illidan or Sonya or Muradin, then you're not going to be able to get a lot of value out of this build, so make sure you're checking out your team comp before you take hat build. But without further ado, let's just get right into the build, shall we? At level 1, you're going to want to take Pressurized Glands. This allows you to spam your spike burst even more and the range is increased overall increasing the AoE effect that our hat has. At level 4 you're going to want to take Adrenal Overload. A symbiote host gains 25% increased attack speed. This is particularly useful on the kinds of targets we really want to be putting our hat on. Like I said earlier, Illidan is a prime example of someone who benefits greatly from attack speed and also is a good hat delivery system. At level 7, we're taking Needle Spine. Increase the damage of Symbiote Stab by 20%. Basically, this is our way of dealing that extra oomph of damage once we're on top of the person we want to be on top of. Level 10, you can go either way. Ultimate Evolution can be particularly useful for either engaging or cleaning up team fights by using your disposable Abathur clone, but you can also go for the Evolve Monstrosity build. If you take Monstrosity, it works very well with Hat when it splish pushes a lane, and you can leave the Monstrosity to split push while you're hatting somebody else in a team fight, overall increasing your effectiveness on the map without sacrificing too much of your team fight potential. At level 13, we're going to take Soma Transference. It allows you to heal whoever you're hatting by using your Spike Burst. But for the characters you really want to be using this build on, they're usually going to be really deep in the mix and surrounded by a lot of heroes, so the amount of healing you'll be able to get from Soma Transference is really high. At level 16 we take either Adrenaline Boost or Envenom Spines, and it depends on one key factor. If the enemy team's disengage is better than your team's engage, then you're going to want to take Adrenaline Boost. The extra speed will allow you to catch up to the enemy team, and that way you can get the engage you need. But if the enemy team's disengage is weaker than your team's engage, then you can take that extra power and slow them down on engage so they can't run away. Basically, what's not going to let them run away? At level 20, we like Evolutionary Link. So a lot of people think that this is worse than hive mind, but I like to disagree. If you start a fight as Abathur, giving whoever you evolutionary link with a massive shield that refreshes every 5 seconds can be very powerful and can almost win fights outright due to the amount of extra HP you're giving such a crucial target on your team. Mad Buddha's Magical Tip of the Video Something worth thinking about is that if you were body soaking as Abathur and also hatting a target in the team fight across the map but you get caught, is that it might be more worth it to continue to hat the target in the team fight and sacrifice yourself than it is to unhat and run away. Likelihood is since Abathur is so squishy that you're going to die anyway. But if they have one person who's gone clear across the map just for the sake of killing you, then the team fight is 4 versus 4. If you can keep the hat on for as long as possible, you can be the difference between trading evenly and making your team win a huge team fight. You might be dead, but your team can do more with just one person dead than they can with 3 or 4. But that's all for me this time with my bug hat build guide for Abathur. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out nihilismgaming.com. Until next time, peace.